This video was made in collaboration with Naratopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. The Life of Akamaru from Naruto Akamaru is a nin dog from Konohagakure's Inuzuka clan. He is Kiba Inuzuka's partner, as well as his best friend and constant companion. He is also a member of Team Koronai. Welcome to the Amagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of Akamaru. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Background At some point, while Kiba was still in the academy, his mother, Sume Inuzuka, entrusted him with Akamaru. Though Akamaru almost immediately urinated on Kiba's face, much to his mother and sister's amusement, the two would soon become inseparable. Chunin Exams Akamaru helped Kiba cheat in the first test, sitting on his head to keep an eye out for proctors and to get information from other exam takers. On their way to the tower during the second test, Kiba had the group stop to investigate Gara's encounter with Team Shigure. Akamaru was immediately frightened by sensing the strength of Gara's chakra, and was traumatized by seeing Gara brutally kill all three Ame Genin. Akamaru fought alongside Kiba against Naruto Uzumaki in the exam preliminaries. He was considered a ninja tool rather than an additional combatant, and was thus permitted to fight alongside Kiba. While Akamaru gave Naruto some difficulty, especially after he transformed into a clone of Kiba, Naruto was able to use Akamaru to trick Kiba, first transforming into Akamaru and coming out of the smoke bomb to ambush him. After Kiba used the beast human clone technique, Naruto turned into Kiba to prevent Kiba from attacking him, and when Kiba saw through his plan, Naruto transformed into Akamaru to make him think he had hit Akamaru. Kiba then punched Akamaru, believing him to be Naruto. In the finals, Akamaru was knocked out along with Kiba after Kabuto Yakushi, disguised as an Anbu member, healed Hinata Hyuga. In the anime, Akamaru attempted to warn Kiba about Kabuto, having recognized who Kabuto was. However, Kabuto used his medical ninjutsu and knocked Kiba out. What happened to Akamaru was left unknown as Kabuto didn't come near him, but he still passed out. Konoha Crush Akamaru can be seen with Kiba and the other villagers at the third Hokage's funeral. Sasuke Recovery Mission Over time, Kiba and Akamaru developed dynamic marking and human-beast combination transformation double-headed wolf together. In the mission to retrieve Sasuke, Kiba and Akamaru remained with the group until they retrieved the container, but an explosive tag blew them and Sakon and Ukon into a canyon. Kiba and Akamaru initially struggled against the brothers, and Akamaru realized that they must use double wolf fang. Kiba was hesitant, given the large amount of chakra needed, which would render them vulnerable if they missed. Akamaru bit him on the hand, and Kiba, realizing that Akamaru saw him as pathetic, decided to take the risk. The attack severely wounded Sakon and Ukon, but they blocked the last attack with a Rashomon barrier, and Akamaru was injured protecting Kiba from their counterattack, but managed to urinate in Sakon's eyes at the same time. When Ukon began taking over Kiba's body, he stabbed himself in the stomach in an attempt to kill Sakon to prevent himself from being taken over and harming Akamaru. Kiba attempted to escape with Akamaru, and after Sakon and Ukon caught up with them, Kankoro arrived and killed both of them. Kiba and Akamaru's injuries took some time to heal. Kiba, not wanting Akamaru to suffer that much again, vowed to improve himself. Bikochu's Search Mission in the anime, Akamaru accompanied his partner with the rest of Team Koronai and Naruto to find the Bikochu. The mission ultimately failed. Buried Gold Excavation Mission In the anime, his presence was used as Kiba's proof of being the real Kiba, as while his imposter could imitate his face, he could not replace Akamaru. Akamaru Monitoring Mission In the anime, Akamaru was infected with a toxin that caused him to go berserk. When he attacked some Anbu members who were training, the order was given to have him taken into custody. As Hana attempted to make a cure for Akamaru, Kiba smuggled his dog out of the village and escaped, having heard that Akamaru might need to be put to sleep, but Akamaru continued to lose control of himself. By the time Naruto and Hana caught up with Kiba, Akamaru had turned into a giant version of himself and attacked anyone near him. Kiba hesitated in the face of the possibility that Akamaru could die, but after Naruto and Hana's attempt to pin Akamaru down and administer the antidote failed, Kiba apologized to Akamaru while standing still as Akamaru leapt at him. Kiba was severely injured, but managed to inject Akamaru with the antidote, and noted that Akamaru had tried his best to avoid killing him. In Naruto's footsteps, the friend's paths. 
In the anime, after Naruto left the village for three years to train with Jiraiya of the Sanin, Kiba's jealousy and Naruto's continued luck of recent made him determined to best his fellow Konoha Nin. To this end, Akamaru joined Kiba in new training to increase the power of their combination transformation skills. Taking inspiration from Naruto's usage of shadow clones for support in battle, Akamaru and Kiba worked arduously to develop their three-headed wolf technique. Two years after Naruto's departure, Konoha Kakure decided to host the Chunin exams alongside Tsunagakure. Akamaru joined Kiba as usual to enter the exams. After Kiba passed the first exam, Akamaru joined his partner to Tsunagakure where the second exam would be held. There, the second exam's nature was essentially the same as the one Konoha previously had, requiring everyone to obtain two matching scrolls before three days passed in a survival competition. Later, when the team engaged an enemy team of Kusagakure Nin, Akamaru joined Kiba against Burami, whose obese stature was used to his advantage, absorbing and repelling all of Kiba and Akamaru's attacks. Soon, the enemy realized Kiba had the Earth Scroll, and together were able to steal it from him before retreating. As Team Koronai attempted to stop them, Burami blasted them with a foul-smelling smoke screen, impairing Kiba and Akamaru's sense of smell. While the enemy got out of Hinata's Byakugan range, Shino set one of his female insects on the enemy to track. While pursuing the enemy, Akamaru and his teammates fell into a quicksand pit. Akamaru, however, was able to use his dynamic marking to solidify the sand enough for the team to escape. Once recovering, Team Koronai resumed their pursuit of the enemy. As Kiba and Akamaru continued following the scent, they soon found it multiplied and scattered throughout the area. When Shino's bugs failed to find the enemies as well, and suggested going after other enemy scrolls, Kiba, finding to his annoyance thinking about Naruto again, became determined not to fail. Then, realizing that Burami's scent was on his clothes from the earlier scuffle, Kiba and Akamaru used it to find the real enemy. While back on the trail again, the enemies ambushed Team Kuranai. While initially overwhelmed, the team swapped out of the predicament with Shino's insect clones, allowing them to regroup. Seeing through the enemy's tactics, Team Koronai quickly pressured the Kusanin before Kiba and Akamaru finished them off with his three-headed wolf technique, earning Team Koronai a heaven and earth scroll. Later, Team Koronai was caught in a massive sandstorm. Ultimately, the team was rescued by the Sunanin proctors and brought into a building to wait out the storm before resuming the exams. Tenshi Bridge Reconnaissance Mission when Naruto met Kiba while looking for his teammates, he noticed that Akamaru was much larger, especially given that Kiba was now riding on him rather than having him sit on his head. Naruto asked Kiba to join his team for a mission, and even proposed having Akamaru go with him without Kiba, but Kiba refused the suggestion. 12 Guardian Ninja In the anime, when Team Kakashi returned to the Fire Temple with a young monk named Sora, Sora quickly made it known that he didn't care what any living thing thought of him, and quickly got into a staring contest with Akamaru, to which Kiba became annoyed at. Later, when Furido and his men attacked the Leaf Village, Akamaru demonstrated that his new size also helped considerably in battle, as he was able to take down several zombies without transforming. Three Tails Appearance In the anime, when Kakashi was ordered to investigate the latest whereabouts of Orochimaru, Team Koronai was assigned to work with him due to their tracking skills. When they managed to find Orochimaru's hideout, they triggered a trap that destroyed the base. Fortunately, Akamaru's nose was able to find a way out in time. Later, Akamaru began to have trouble concentrating due to a high-frequency sound. It was through this that the team realized that they were being spied on by bats. When the enemy ambushed them and rendered their sense of smell helpless to the smoke screen, Akamaru convinced Kiba to try their beast-like taijutsu to blow away the smoke. Soon, the team found themselves being attacked by Guren, there, Kiba and Akamaru again worked together to fight off her attacks. Itachi Pursuit Mission After it was decided that the best way to find Sasuke was to find Itachi Uchiha, Team Kuranai, temporarily led by Kakashi, assisted Team Yamato in searching for Itachi in hopes of finding Sasuke as well. Fated Battle Between Brothers Unfortunately, the squad were unable to reach Sasuke in time and returned home. Pain's Assault When Pain invaded Konoha, Kiba and Akamaru joined Kiba's mother and Kuromaru in fighting the Predapath. Later, during the aftermath of the struggle, he appeared with Kiba riding him to warn Naruto, Sakura, and Kakashi that Danzo had been appointed as the 6th Hokage and had just given the order permitting Ninja to dispose of Sasuke as a missing nin. Past Arc, the Locus of Konoha In the anime, after Kiba had signed up to be the village's messenger, Akamaru accompanied his partner in delivering packages and messages to the villagers. Five Kage Summit 
When the Konoha 11 had decided to eliminate Sasuke for his crimes and to prevent him from sinking any lower and dragging the village into a terrible international war as a result, Sakura decided to tell Naruto herself, with Akamaru, Kiba, Sai, and Lee accompanying her. They headed for the Land of Iron, but Sakura denied the truth from Naruto, and the group left to find Sasuke. Sakura managed to use a powerful sleeping gas bomb to knock out the others, including Akamaru. Kakashi later finds them sleeping in the middle of the path and moved them to the side before leaving for the bridge where Sakura and Sasuke are. Akamaru wakes up from being smoked bombed by Sakura and returns to Konoha. He later accompanies Kiba as the Konoha 11 speak about what they would do about the looming threat that Sasuke Uchiha posed to the safety of the villages and the relative peace that they had. Fourth Shinobi World War, Confrontation Along with his partner, Kiba, Akamaru was assigned to the 5th Division of the Allied Shinobi Forces during the 4th Shinobi World War. He and a team of Shinobi are later sent to back up the 2nd Division. Akamaru and Kiba attack the White Zetsu army clones with their fang-passing fang technique ripping the enemy to shreds. The two later regroup with Neji, Hinata, and Shino after the attacking White Zetsu army clones are wiped out, seemingly exhausted. Akamaru then stood by as Kiba tried to get an exhausted Neji to go to the medical compound for treatment. As Kiba lectured Neji about overusing his Byakugan, Neji responded to Akamaru instead of Kiba, confirming just how strained his eyesight was. Finally backing down from the front that he was alright, Akamaru later carried Neji on his back as the trio relocated. The next day, Akamaru alongside Kiba battled the transformed White Zetsu army clones that had infiltrated their ranks. In the anime, the battle turns more personal when the Sound 4 ninja are also summoned to the battlefield. Kiba and Akamaru face off against Sakon and Ukon. With their improved skills, Kiba and Akamaru are able to completely plow through Sakon and Ukon's defenses and defeat them. However, their victory is short-lived as the ninja twins engulf the four of them in a strange technique. Akamaru's body was left in a comatose state while his soul was sent to a new location where it was reanimated within a large barrier. Inside, the inhabitants are able to battle normally. However, the Sound 4 inform their enemies that in time, their actual body's halted chakra flow will eventually cause them to die. In addition, killing the Sound 4 will not undo the technique. Despite the initial stalemate, the Sound 4's enhanced cursed seals grow even stronger from their accustomed malice, quickly overwhelming the Konoha ninja. Seeing that, Shikamaru begins to intentionally provoke them, knowing that Naruto's new senses would pick up on it. Eventually, Naruto finds them and breaks through the barrier, allowing Inoichi, through a telepathic connection, to release the technique and restore Akamaru and the others to their bodies. Upon awakening, Akamaru thanks Shino for his efforts in saving them. Later, amidst the battles, Kiba warned Neji that Hinata was in trouble. Neji failed to save Hinata from an Iwanin, only for Hinata to be revealed as a White Zetsu army clone. As Akamaru and Kiba continued towards the real Hinata, Kiba chastised Neji for going the wrong way, but before they could reach Hinata, she was saved by Naruto's shadow clone which had arrived on the battlefield. After a brief argument between Kiba, Naruto, and Neji, they mobilized with Naruto to sift out the fake shinobi from the real ones. Fourth Shinobi World War, Climax Later heading out with the other members of the allied shinobi forces to where the Jinchuriki were, Akamaru and Kiba arrive on the battlefield and stood with the others to face their opposition. When the Alliance's counterattack was launched, Akamaru and Kiba were buffeted by the fully matured Tentails as it emerged from the hole it had been trapped in. Later, when Kurama had generated enough chakra, Naruto transferred some of it to Akamaru who afterwards, alongside Kiba, charged towards the Uchiha and the Tentails where the combined efforts were able to separate the two Uchiha from the beast. When the Alliance was saved from the Tentails enormous tailed beast ball, Akamaru's behavior alerted them to the fact that Minato was a reincarnated shinobi. Though Minato waved down their suspicion, telling them that he was on their side, Akamaru was later shocked to see Sasuke on the battlefield, and even more so when he declared that he would become Hokage. When Kiba later made a comment to Shikamaru's resolve to become an advisor to the Hokage, Akamaru voiced some concern. Shino, however, told Akamaru it was alright, as the Hokage could have up to three advisors. After Madara was revived, Akamaru and Kiba assisted the alliance in battling Tobi. Birth of the Ten Tails Jinshuriki Akamaru would later alert Kiba to the dojutsu reflected on the moon. Akamaru as well as the others would later fall victim to Madara's infinite Tsukiyomi. Kaguya Otsutsuki strikes. Ultimately, Akamaru and the rest of the world were free from the genjutsu by Sasuke and Naruto after they ended the war. 
Kakashi Hiden, Lightning in the Icy Sky. Kiba and Akamaru are part of the team of Konoha Ninja assigned to provide security at the Blood Prison. When the Ryuha Armament Alliance stages a prison break, they help round up the escaped prisoners. The last, Naruto the movie. Akamaru joins Kiba and Shino for dinner at Ichiraku. During Toneri Otsutsuki's attack, Shino, Kiba, and Akamaru were assigned to a search and rescue team. Konoha Hiden, the perfect day for a wedding. When Shino and Kiba gathered together with their sensei Kuranai to discuss Hinata's wedding gift, his ears were pulled by Kuranai's daughter, Mirai. Rai no Sho. Two years later, during a walk with Kiba, Akamaru began to notice all Kiba's friends started finding girlfriends and started settling down, which he found annoying. He felt that humans entered Estrus too late, and that Kiba was the only real shinobi among his friends for not falling for such desires, believing he would become the 7th Hokage. However, after hearing from many young women that they were certain that Naruto was going to be the 7th, he began to worry about Kiba. Later, when Kiba went off on his own, Akamaru became worried since he realized Kiba was being deceitful and followed him. Seeing Kiba was secretly meeting a girl, Akamaru became annoyed, and even admitted that Kiba probably didn't have the skills to become Hokage if he focused so much on girls. However, he changes his mind when he realizes Kiba was meeting a young vet to give him his immunizations by surprise. In the end though, Akamaru became overly protective when he noticed Kiba had a strong mutual attraction with Tamaki, and tried to protect Kiba by fruitlessly pulling him away from her. New Era a decade later, an older Akamaru dozed while Kiba spoke with Tamaki about biding his time until he became Hokage, while a young pup and a few cats played around them. Naruto Shinden, Parent and Child Day On the day of a popular new toy release, an interactive Korama-themed doll, Akamaru and Akemaru join Kiba in his efforts to get one for his girlfriend. They soon meet up with Naruto and Himawari, the latter who was delighted to meet the dogs. While Kiba couldn't find a doll for himself, he decided to help Naruto find one for his daughter. When Kiba managed to find one and entrusted Akamaru with it, the hungry dog decided to trade it to a man for a burger on the grounds that Kiba forgot to feed him that day. Konoha Shinden, Steam Ninja Scrolls. Akamaru joined Kiba and Tamaki on a date to the Quarrel Festival. Time Slip Arc. In the anime, when the grown-up Sasuke and Boruto were sent back in time to shortly after Sasuke's defection, the two pretended to be traveling performers and were put under watch by Naruto. Past Akamaru and his friends helped Boruto and Naruto clean up a bathhouse after the commotion Naruto and Jiraiya caused. Days later, Konohamaru, Moegi, and Udon approached Akamaru and his friends for help, telling how Naruto and Boruto were battling a dangerous foe. They quickly agreed to help. By the time they arrived, however, Urashiki was already defeated. The group then escorted their injured friends to the hospital. Kara Actuation Arc in the anime, Akamaru joined Kiba as he talked with Naruto about whether or not they should close the gates to Konohagakure in light of Kara possibly having spies in the village. Owl Arc In the anime, Akamaru joined Kiba to attend the memorial service for the fallen people of the 4th Shinobi World War. Albeit, Akamaru mostly slept. Did you enjoy your video? Make sure to check out these other great videos from Miyamagi, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.